हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय स्टडी चैनल केमिस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द रेट कांस्टेंट फॉर जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी विल नो द प्रोसेस ऑफ हाउ टू ड्रॉ द रेट कांस्टेंट फार्मूला फॉर जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आई वांट टू request you if you are new in my channel then please don't forget to subscribe my channel so let's get into the video so let's first draw one equation suppose a is the reactant and p is the product so if you consider this reaction as a zero order reaction then the rate of this reaction will be proportional to the concentration of the reactant now as it is zero order reaction so the power of the concentration of reactant is zero okay now if we want to omit this proportional sign then r equal to we will put here one constant k into a0 okay now we know anything to the power 0 equal to 1 so we can write here k into 1 sutrang so r equal to k that is rate equal to constant now Again, we can find out the rate of this reaction in terms of the derivative of the concentration of the reactant. So, we can write derivative of concentration of reactant A in terms of dt. Okay. So, now you can see here one minus sign. This minus sign is because the reactant is decreasing with time. So, that's why the minus sign is here now we know rate equal to constant so we can put this value here that is k equal to minus of d of a by dt right now we can change the side of the dt from right hand side to left hand side so we can write also the minus sign so minus k into dt equal to da we can also write like this way that is da equal to minus k into dt just change the side now do the integration okay as this is the constant so integration is not possible for constant so i put the integration sign before dt so now if you do the integration you can see the integration and the derivative will cancel out each other and here remaining a equal to minus k into integration and d cancel out then t plus whenever we will perform the integration there is a integration constant suppose this one is c okay now at the initial stage of the reaction that is at the beginning of the reaction the time equal to zero and the concentration of the reactant is also a naught that is the concentration of the reactant present at its initial stage so we can write the initial concentration as a naught now put this two value into this equation then we will get a naught equal to minus k into t equal to 0 plus c so we are getting the constant c equal to a naught right mark it as 2 now put this value into equation number 1 then you are getting a equal to minus kt plus 
A naught. You can just change the side of KT then KT equal to A0 minus take the concentration of A into right hand side then K equal to A naught minus A divided by T. So this is the rate constant formula for zero order reaction. Now if you want to plot a graph okay again the concentration of A versus T then you will get one straight line where the intercept is A0 that is initial concentration and the slope is minus k. From this equation, we can also see the rate constant of the zero order reaction is dependent on the concentration of reactant and time. So, thanks for watching this video.